Now the force that magnets apply on each other and other objects is called the magnetic force and is very similar to gravity in the sense that it's a non-contact force as well. Now the magnetic force doesn't really require any sort of touching for it to push or pull something or affect. You know what, let's play with some magnets to see how they work. So this is what we call a bar magnet. Now any magnet has two sides which we call poles. It's called the north pole and the south pole. Now if you look at this magnet, the north pole is marked with this white dot. So this is the north pole and this is the south pole. Now when you take two magnets, that's when it becomes fun. For example, what happens is the like poles, they repel each other and unlike poles attract. See here, Frank. So this is the North Pole and I have a South Pole over here. Look at what happens. You see that? Similarly, if I had a South Pole here and a North Pole here, they attract again. But when we take two like poles, that is say two North Poles, they will... They should repel each other. Yes, like this. See that? Again, if we had two south poles facing each other, they will repel again. And the interesting part is that they do this without any sort of contact or touching, which means they are non-contact forces. Exactly. Now, magnets are also fun when you play with metallic objects. So, magnets always attract like certain metallic objects like these. You see this? Yeah? Both poles of the magnet attract this object. Of course, magnets don't attract all metallic objects. They attract certain kinds of objects like iron and steel. The other interesting thing about magnets is that when you suspend a magnet, it always points to the north pole. Okay, And this property is used in compasses. Okay. So let's say we had a compass. So cool! <laughs> yeah, so this compass, this needle over here, is basically just a magnet. So you see that its red side is basically pointing towards the geographical north pole of the earth. Okay? To prove that it's a magnet, let me take another magnet. Say, I'll show you, I'll, I'm taking a south pole. You see that? Immediately it gets attracted. And it moves along with this. But the moment I let go, it faces this direction because it points toward the geographical north of the Earth. Now this happens because you can say that there is a, a huge magnet inside the Earth. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Baiju's, the all new and personalized learning app.